possible danger at the dentist's office. A frightening new study out of Yale uh, connects those x-rays you have when you get a checkup at the dentist, connecting those with brain tumors. Dr. Richard Besser is here with more. And when people first heard this, this just came out overnight, they're, they're scratching their head a little bit. What's the headline here? Right. I mean, this is this sounds very scary. You're going to be hearing a lot about this today, so I want to explain it. You know, they looked at more than 1,400 people who had one type of brain tumor called a meningioma, and they compared them to a similar group without brain tumors. And they asked them to remember x-rays they'd had, dental x-rays over the course of their life. What they found was those with the tumors were twice as likely to remember having a bite wing x-ray, where you bite down on the x-ray mm -hmm. film, mm -hmm. and five times more likely to remember having a panorex film, where the x-ray goes around your face, having that before they were age, age 10. The problem is, it all came down to, to memory. They didn't check medical records. And I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't remember what x-rays I had when, when I was a child. But if I had a brain tumor, I would be sitting and thinking and trying to remember that. But I think the big headline is what we were talking about on all our shows last week, and it's too many tests. We're getting too many dental x-rays. Mm -hmm. But it's good to hear this from you, Rich, because knowing that it wasn't um, medical records that they were checking, but just someone's memory. Exactly. So you're kind of, but, exactly. you, but I know that you have been talking a long time about the number of tests that yes. we get. So if you're, if you have a dentist appointment, do you question them about the number of x-rays? Well, having? I think you do. Even the American Dental Association says you should not be getting x-rays at a preset interval. If you're a child and you're not having any problems every one to two years, if you're an adult with no problems every two to three years, and there's some simple questions you can ask. You know, when you go in to see your dentist, do I need this test? You know, is there another way to get the information? Can you get it from my old films? And what are you going to do that's different? And if you do that, the American Dental Association says we can cut in half the number of dental x-rays we have without any problem with their care. Good advice there as always. Ask those questions. Exactly. All right.